What is up guys? It's your boy, Rick. Why does Bungie have to release their trailers so darn early in the morning? Kak is here. And today, the Festival of the Lost 2021 Halloween event for Destiny 2 has finally been fully revealed, which is kind of crazy because it starts later today at reset. Bungie has been surprisingly secretive about this year's event. So what the heck is going on? Well, first things first, let's check out the brand new trailer. Thanks for letting me tag along, Guardian. Legends say that the Headless Ones are endlessly searching for their lost ghosts. Like me! Monsters are real! And very clever disguises! Maybe something friendly will come out. They're filled with loot! Happy Festival of the Lost, Guardian. All right, so as usual, Eva Levante will be at the center of this event, saying specifically that she invites you to join a Last City tradition that celebrates the light we find in the darkness. Gather around the campfire with your fellow guardians, dig into your overflowing bags of candy, and fondly recount the tales of those who were lost but will never be forgotten. Now, something you're gonna notice right away is that there is no haunted forest, the usual festival of the lost activity that's been replaced with haunted sectors. So it says here, an Exo and a Vex mind have merged to become something new. A guardian on Nessus is being hunted for their ghost, and headless creatures prowl through the dark chasm of the moon, grab your favorite mask, join a fire team, and embark on three new tales of terror. So we can imply by that that three specific lost sectors have had this haunted treatment, so you have to go in and fight potentially new different enemies with exciting new stuff. You're actually going to see in the trailer that there is at least one new gameplay mechanic where they are throwing kind of exploding pumpkin heads at enemies. So, to participate in Haunted Lost Sectors, you will need to interact with Eva Levante and complete a quest, and then once you do, there's going to be uh, an item in the directory that you can interact with to start them, or there's going to be a totem next to Eva Levante. And it sounds like it's just kind of one playlist, and it will throw you into a random Haunted Lost Sector rather than you being able to select which Lost Sector you want. But of course, the next question is, why are you playing these Haunted Lost Sectors? What do you get for them? Well, the same gameplay loop that is usually in Festival of the Lost is back. If you're playing the game with your mask equipped, then candy is going to drop. This candy can be used to purchase rewards. However, there's something new called the Book of the Forgotten. Now, this is actually a thing containing lore, a book filled with memorable characters and heroic deeds. Well, almost filled. If you can find the missing pages and avoid Avoid smudging the words with chocolate, you'll have quite a story to tell. When you do, make sure the flashlight is directly under your chin. So in these haunted lost sectors, you can acquire spectral pages and those are used to acquire manifest pages that are put into that uh, book of the forgotten. There's also going to be a slew of new bounties available from Eva Levante that reward XP, Bright Dust, Glimmer, and Candy. And of course, the aforementioned masks are available as well. These six are going to be purchasable uh, for Candy from Eva Levante. However, all masks must be equipped as ornaments on the Masquerader's helmet, which is offered by Eva Levante for a thousand glimmer. Because of course, previously masks had zero power, so now there's a special Masquerade helmet because you are going to be going into Lost Sectors, and this helmet is going to provide power, but only while the Festival of the Lost is active. 
And here we get a look at some of the rewards you can spend your candy on. We have an epic mystery grab bag, which is gonna reward legendary gear, mystery grab bag, which rewards, you know, just blue gear and stuff like that. Then the Bright Tech Werewolf and the Horror Story auto rifles are actually apparently back which is pretty neat because both of these are pretty darn rare. The only way to acquire them was last year's Festival of the Lost activity, and then they just kind of went away until now. Both of them are precision frame 450 rounds per minute auto rifles, which is pretty important because that's a very good archetype if you're gonna use auto rifles in stuff like Grandmasters or Nightfalls. And remember, auto rifle anti-barrier rounds that's the only anti-barrier round in the game right now, so definitely getting a good roll of these could be pretty important. But we also have the brand new weapon, the Jurassic Green, and we get a better look at it right here saying, shh, did you hear that? It's probably just the wind, the wind, or the new Jurassic Green pulse rifle. Either way, it's midnight and no one's sleeping until you go check. And honestly, what's the worst that could happen? You cruise back to camp on an exotic sparrow with a bunch of new cosmetics. It pays to be brave, Guardian. No, 10 out of 10, Space Dentist recommends spending your candy instead of eating it. So this does look like a remade Lincoln Green, which is an old, you know, vanilla Destiny rapid fire frame kinetic pulse rifle. So we'll see if it matches that, but this is an all new reward for 2021. We also, of course, have the Team Dino armor set. So earlier in the year, the Destiny community voted for Team Dino or Team Movie Monster and Team Dino 1, and we get some looks at what this armor set is going to be like in-game, and honestly, I think it looks fantastic. Moving on from there, there's also going to be another Bungie Reward exclusive emblem for this event. You can see it right here, and of course, we have a ton of different cosmetics available as well, giving you those spooky vibes. And guys, that is pretty much it for the full reveal. I am very excited that we have a brand new weapon. Sometimes these events don't have one, so that is absolutely fantastic. And I'm really interested to see how these Haunted Lost Sectors play out and if they're more fun or less fun than their traditional Haunted Forest. In any event, guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.